I'm Andy Salisbury, one of the entomologists for the RHS. We carry out research which helps inform our advice we give to gardeners on plant health issues and encouraging wildlife in gardens. The Bug Hub is, is going to be this great exhibition at uh, the Tatton Park Flower Show, all about bugs in the garden. We've been working on this with the show's team from its very concept several months ago. Overall, it's all about trying to create that healthy balance in your garden, getting a good balance of the predators, the, the tritophores, the insects which are uh, helping decompose organic matter in your garden. So hopefully you then see much less damage from those invertebrates which will feed on your plants too. As an entomologist, I, I, I like to enthuse about insects and talk about them all the time. And I thought it'd be great fun to get some large models of aphids and their predators made so that that visitors can see them in intimate detail. My name is Jay Shepherd, and I run JSM Model Makers here in Marlborough. We are a creative model effects studio. We get asked to build pretty much anything here, so it can be either TV and film or engineering, character work. This project's really cool because it's got to be anatomically correct. There's going to be some scientists and that looking at it to make sure we've got it right. So this is a real fun project for us to do. From the reference images, we will make a rig, which is usually foam and steel. Then over the top of that, we will sculpt a clay um, until we get a really good likeness of what the actual creature is supposed to look like, in this case a wasp or an aphid. After that, once the client is happy with the final sculpt, we will take a silicon mould off of that, cast out a resin final piece, and then beyond that we will airbrush or hand paint that into the details. The aphid is a difficult one because it is semi-transparent, um, it's green but you can kind of see through it. So to get that effect when we cast out the final piece we'll use a clear resin and we will tint that with a green tint before we put the final paint finish over the top so you'll get that kind of depth. Sculpting in particular this project is very tactile, using the clay is really nice to get like a really good likeness of the wasp and the aphid. So that's what I really enjoy about this in that you're completely in control of what you're creating. So it's going to be really interesting to see people's reactions to this because the visitors will really be able to connect and see all the detail of the wasp and the aphid blowing up to this size. Well, I'm really looking forward to working at, at Tatton in the Bug Hub where you'll be able to look at the slugs in gardens and that they're not all that bad. Look down the microscope at the invisible world that you might not see of invertebrates. See some large models of aphids and their predators and find out what you can do about these insects in gardens when you get them. But above all, it's all about encouraging wildlife into the garden and creating that natural balance.